How's it going, everybody? And today we're going to talk about military surplus rifles. It's a very good way to get some firepower on a budget. They're in most cases reliable, hard-hitting, and accurate. Some of them are even a great investment. They can be had for little money with the prospect of rising prices. Also, do not forget that the military or law enforcement did choose these guns for a reason. Their decisions are made after long testing, so you do get at least a decent system that has proven itself in the past. With that being said, let's take a look at what the market has to offer. Number 5, the Finnish M39. The Finnish M39 were built on the Moss and Nagants. However, they are the precision super accuracy model thanks to the barrels the Finnish placed on them. Compared to the sheer amount of Mazen Nagants, from which more than 37 million were produced, the M39 is just a drop in the bucket. Just a tad over 100,000 of them were made. However, in investment terms, that makes them at some time available enough to get one and rare enough to ensure an increase in value. When you see an M39, most people will just assume it's one of those crappy Mossens. However, if you check and see it is an M39, buy it. Use the advantage that others do not know their value, as these finished models are just great. They work fine, are super accurate, shoot smoothly, and are exactly what you would expect of a bolt-action rifle of World War II. That gets you the real value for your money. A real good place to look for these beauties are pawn shops. Here, their true value is mostly ignored so that you can make a very good deal. The only problem is that the price of the M39 do get up fast lately, so if you want to get into this one, do so fast. In World War II, the M39 were actually a little bit late to really matter during the Winter War when the Soviet Army invaded Finland. During the so-called Continuation War, the Finns' later part of the war, they really came into their own. The history makes the rifle a little bit more mysterious and more interesting for collectors. Chambered for 762 by 54 rim, ammo for them is also not hard to find, making them even more interesting for everyone actually looking to shoot one of them. Number 4, the SKS. To make it plain and short, an SKS is always a good gun to invest in. Granted, you need to make sure that you get one in good quality, and that you do not overpay according to the market prices at the moment of your buy. Once you have met these two criteria, you're pretty much safe. These guns will at least hold their value, and most certainly even increase it. In the past, for example, the Yugoslavian version could be found for as little as $50.00. In the 1990s, $89 was a typical going price. In 2018, you had to pay $400 for it. For the future, well, who knows, but the direction of the value is only up. Today, they're still available in quantities. Now, yes, before you would buy them by the crates and today as individual rifles. However, you do not have to search long for them. As true military surplus rifles, they come with fold-out bayonets. There are also those with a grenade launching attachment to the barrel. The latter ones also sport the flip-up grenade sights. SKS rifles are chambered in 7.62 by 39 mm and are semi-automatic. Generally, they are long and heavy, but considering the area they come from, that is to be expected. There are versions from Norinco that accept AK magazines, giving them greater capacity. Number 3, the Swiss K31. The Swiss K31 is a great rifle, and the price for one of them have gone up lately. Interesting enough, a lot of them come with a bayonet, which is by itself also very valuable. Doing it right, you might get to good deals in one. What makes it even more valuable is the serial number. If they match from the rifle itself and the bayonet, you got yourself a great investment. This can easily double the price if you want to sell it to someone who really collects these weapons. Apart from the investment, these guns are also super in their intended role. They come with great sights and are super accurate. The action runs smoothly, and they are a blast to shoot. Chambered for the 7.5 GP11 round, it's not too hard to find ammo for them on the military surplus market as well. If you want to be serious with this gun, you can also get diopter sights for it. With them and a bayonet with a matching serial number, you have a really special gun that will go for well over $1,000. The K31 was the rifle for the Swiss Armed Forces from 1931 to 1958. Its 7.5 by 55 mm round comes with a 174 grain projectile, leaving the muzzle at a velocity of 2,750 feet per second. At the beginning, the stock was made of walnut, but later it was changed to beechwood. The earlier models also have some problem with receiver failures, but later ones come with a changed alloy to make them strong enough. You can see older models coming often enough with newer bolts for this exact reason. 
The accuracy of the K31 is incredible. You get 3-inch groups out to 400 yards without breaking a sweat. If you reload the rounds yourself, you'll also see that at 250 yards. The groups are still pretty tight, even if you shoot lighter and heavier loads at the same time. Number 2, the M1871-88 Beaumont Vitale. The Beaumont rifle are very good collector items, not least because they come from the end of the 19th century. Granted, as your everyday go-to rifle, they're less of a good idea, as they come with a four-round magazine only and shoot a really oddball of a cartridge. They're chambered in 11 by 59 rim. The ammo is in fact not hard to reload, but the start in this caliber does bring some investment with it. Given their time, they're quite accurate. While they can, in theory, reach out to more than a mile, you'd be hard-pressed to hit anything that far. However, staying within the range of a couple of hundred yards, getting these rounds on target is much less of a challenge. As they are quite unknown, you can get them for less than $500 a piece. Given their history, it's only a matter of time for them to gain some popularity, making for a sharp increase in prices. When you want to buy one, there's a few things to look out for. The original rifle was the M1871 Beaumont. This came without a magazine. Later, the Vitali magazine conversions were made. As the magazine is added, you need to check that the stock in the air of the magazine is not cracked. Some of them come with a long split caused by a hit to the magazine. Also, check the ejector block. These things tend to get misplaced or lost. This block sits next to the bolt and can move back and forth. As this is unusual, it's easy to overlook if this part is missing. If it's not there anymore, that means that the gun will not eject, and you have to remove the spent case all by yourself. A real downside with this gun is that you will be hard-pressed to replace anything missing or broken on it. This makes it even more important to check it thoroughly if you want to invest your money into it. Number 1. Martini Henry The Martini Henry rifle is actually one of the most commonly available military surplus rifles in the whole world. Being single shot, it's possible to shoot them like the good old days even today. However, they're not really considered firearms anymore, but antiques given their age. If you do want to shoot one of them, you need to get used to the action. They run either with a long or a short lever, but they are not repeating lever action rifles. Instead, you pull the lever down, opening the action and removing the spent cartridge. Then you insert the new round into the chamber and move the lever up again. Now your gun is ready to fire again. Buying one of them, you'll most probably get it wrapped in plastic. You need to really clean it up before it looks impressive, but it's worth it. If you get one with a bayonet, that's even better. These nice little extensions of the rifle are often the size of a small sword, and they do increase the value of the gun considerably. There you have it, guys. Some military surplus rifles that are really worth their money and are a great investment. There are other military surplus rifles out there that are great investments as well, if you have one of them, well, let us know in the comments and tell us why you invested in it.